Hello, my friends. Do you want to meet Yurik? Stay tuned. Don't forget to stay till the end to watch the bloopers. There are a lot of them. Shut up and sit down. Hi, hello. I am the Cyber Roof Guru. Thank you for watching. So this video actually started a year ago. Anyone who has been watching this channel for a while knows that I did a video last year about some skulls that I put some LEDs in the eyes of and I programmed them to make different colors and different animations. So that leads us to this guy here. This guy is what I call One-Eyed Willie. <laughs> All right, so this guy is the last of the five LEDs, uh, five skulls that I created with LEDs in the eyes. Um, and I had a, an issue this year where this LED obviously wasn't working. I tried to fix it, it didn't work. Um, I did a lot of work digging it out. It didn't work, I don't know. So I'm left with kind of this guy. That's okay. So um, we'll throw One-Eyed Willie down to the side there. This guy, this guy here. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and talk about this guy. So the adventure last year actually started with this guy. Um, let me see if I can uh, modify the exposure a little bit. See that guy? I originally printed this guy as a kind of one-off. Uh, I, I wanted to print him the size of my head and I figured I would just do a whole bunch of these guys. Well, you can see that uh, he's a little bigger than my head, so that's okay. Um, but it all starts with this guy. And you know what it ends with? It ends with this guy right here. Uh, see this guy? Oh. Let me, let me do this side. That might be easier. <laughs> what do we see there? We see a skull of a similar proportion. Let me uh, adjust the exposure a little bit. See that there? This is a skull. It's a little bigger than One-Eyed Willy. It's a little bigger than the initial prototype. But you will see here. See that? Ooh. See uh, that guy? Yeah. Those are eyeballs. Let's go ahead and show you the eyeballs. I'm going to flip the switch here. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at the eyeballs. It's booting up right now. I have a little boot sequence here. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to flip off the lights and uh, it's gonna get dark in here, but it'll be better to show what I wanna show. So, so what is this? This is the, let me turn my head. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay, I'm gonna put that guy down. Okay, so here we are, we're back. Lights are back on. Um, this guy <clears throat> has lights. It has eyes. They blink. They smile at you. They, they wink at you. Um, this is the next logical extension to One-Eyed Willy. Uh, you'll note that it is a little bit larger than One-Eyed Willy. Uh, that's because it took a fair amount of engineering to get these, these lights in here. And I want to kind of walk you through that. So let me go ahead and I temporarily have some tape stuck to the side of this guy. Um, I'm going to peel the tape off and I'm going to kind of show you some of the innards. Ready? Uh oh. Oh, he has no brain. He has no brain. All right. All right. So, what do you see here? Um, there you go. Right about there. You can see I got these two little squares right here, uh, lot wires that lead down to the bottom, and then these little glass little enclosures, which actually cause the eyeballs to stick out. That's really kind of cool. Let's do this. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the head back on to hold everything in so it doesn't fall out. So I intentionally did not oh 
Good luck. Goodness. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, so I intentionally did not glue this on so that I can show this demo. You can see here, I have some electronics here dangling from the bottom. It has this lovely little, uh, let me uh, do this. I gotta move my mouse back after that little disaster. All right, we'll turn the exposure down a little bit. You can see this little location here uh, to put all the electronics in. It's all dangling right now. Um, and we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so that's it. That's, that's, that's Oh. oh, good Lord. Okay, so that's the project. Let's go ahead and cut over to Fusion and I wanna show you how I made that wonderful project. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are in Fusion. You can see what is in front of you is the skull model. That's pretty straightforward and you can see the little eyeballs that I've already showed you. That's really pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and turn the skull off. I took the skull off for you in real life. Um, but here's what it looks like from the model. And you can see here, there's this lovely little channel it leads down to the bottom here. And let's go ahead and turn the electronics cover off. And you can see all the electronics in here. <clears throat> this is a battery. This is the Itsy Bitsy M4 and a little uh, Itsy Bitsy uh, battery charger and a little switch here that fits into the electronic cover. You can see when everything's closed in here, you can flip it on and you can flip it off. I obviously have not installed the cover yet uh, for lots of different reasons, but um, <clears throat> I will soon. So this is really, really cool. So um, this is really nothing more than the code provided by Adafruit in a new skull. This was harder than I thought it should have been. And let me talk a little bit about why it is. So let me turn the skull off. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn the skull off altogether. And that guy, we'll turn the screws off. We'll turn that off. We'll turn all of the electronics off. <laughs> we'll leave these guys on. All right, so these little electronics holders, this is how uh, the, the, the first thing that I started with. I created this little holder. I did a little experimentation. I determined that it had to be a certain thickness to show a good eye uh, volume because uh, when it was super close, it didn't really give any sort of magnification. So then that led me to, let me go ahead and turn this guy off. Um, I'm gonna turn these guys off. All right. So then I created this guy. And you're all like, what the heck is this? Well, ha ha ha. This is the body that I combined with the skull. Let me turn the skull on. That I combined with the skull to create the voids required, right? To uh, put these inserts in. So. Uh, it was actually pretty straightforward. Once I got this skull in at a mesh level that, that Fusion was able to deal with, I used regular parametric modeling to create these, these um, um, squares and these arcs and these rectangles. I used some fillets here and just a tube running down through the bottom. So look, there's not a whole lot of magic here. Um, this is at your own will to express how you want to get this done. Uh, but uh, the magic here is uh, once you have the skull, right, you do your parametric modeling, right, and then you just say modify, um, where is it? It is combine, and then you subtract this body, you subtract this body from that body, and then it creates this void. And I'll turn all this off and let's go ahead and turn the skull on again. Skull upper and lower. Um, turn it on and you end up with this, right? And then I, I, I used a plane to cut the head in half. I feel a little bad about this guy, but it leaves, uh, it leaves this, uh, which is, you know, what you would expect. Now, obviously I created this little cavity in the bottom separately, but, uh, it, it is the exact model required uh, to fill in 
this work here uh, for the eyeballs. Okay, so let's come back to reality. Okay, so hey, that was a real quick little snapshot of of this guy, right? Um, I I modeled the eyeball contraption. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's you know it's the holder for the eyeball with the OLED and whatnot. Um, and then I copied it and pasted and put it into the skull model. And then I created a little normal form around it. And then I subtracted that form from the skull. And I created a nice little void. And then I, um, sorry, One-Eyed Willie, I cut the skull. Uh, I, seg I, I segmented it and then I printed the top and the bottom separately and then I was able to create these little forms and put them in the middle and then do all the magical electronics. So the the software, uh, the software on this, very straightforward. It is literally just the source code from Adafruit's website. Um, I did have to modify it with one little thing uh, with the uh, Itsy Bitsy M4. Um, and this is a little uh, propeller head, a little geeky, but uh, with the M4, it doesn't seem to have weak pull-ups on the I.O. So uh, there was a little, I don't want to call it a bug, but it's a bug um, in the source code where it lets the uh, chip select float after initialization. And so I had to go in and put some code in there to say, hey, don't let it float. Actually, you know, tie it low. Um, cause it was, what it was doing, it was, it was actually initializing both eyes at the, it would initialize one eye and then initialize the other eye while simultaneously initializing the first eye because the chip select was floating. And so I fixed that. It's okay. I, I, I you know, I'll probably contribute, uh, back to the community and say, Hey, y'all need to fix this, but this is it. This is it. This is the magic. Um, I'm going to use this during Halloween. It's going to be exciting. It's going to sit next to me as I am handing out candy and I can't wait. So, hey, you know, if you want this model, I'll put the model on Thingiverse. I'll put the eye, eye holder socket things on Thingiverse as well. Uh, I, you know, if you want me to post the source code, I can, but it's just, you know, straight from Thingiverse. If you use the Itsy Bitsy um, M0 or the Itsy Bitsy M4, I think you need my modifications. Um, <clears throat> but if you use the, uh, the original uh, hardware platform, which I cannot remember off the life of me right now what it is, but if you re use the original hard platform, it should be fine. So, hey, uh, you know, if you like this video, thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you don't like it, as always, you know what? Thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. Really important these days. Um, ring the bell if you want to be notified. Any questions or comments down below? I'm learning that questions and comments down below actually are kind of important. So leave questions or comments down below if you want. Otherwise, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to be inspired. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. This, my friends, is a skull, one of five. Oh, do you see that? Come, Roxy. Come, Roxy. Roxy, come. She won't come, my friends. Oh, there she is again. <laughs> This, my friends, is the skull that I created last year. I created, I think, uh, five or six of these. I put an LED, you can see here, in every one of them. Oh, for the love of God, Roxy. Lay down. <laughs> shit. <laughs> what, is, what is this shit? It looks like I got a hickey. Hey, lay down. Seriously, lay down. Yeah, I know. You can't figure out why all the lights are on. Sit. That's a good girl. Very good girl. Can you stay there and be very quiet? Okay. So I created five or six of these uh, last year. I put the LEDs in the eyes here. And the... Um... Oh, for Christ's sake. Let me pause this. This is going to make some good outtakes. I'm just saying. So it all started 
with this guy right here. I started out by making these skulls thinking that uh, this size might be, you know, we'll start over that. <laughs> okay, that's good stuff right there. That's a good damage. Okay. Okay, so.